Hello friends, how's it going? Kyle here again. So I figured I would follow up now on uh, the 90s tone of the Yamaha uh, THR-10X. Um, so we're gonna make this again, shorter video as possible. I'm not gonna go over all the stuff that I went over in the previous video, because that is pointless. Today we're talking about Eddie's 90s tone. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and just get into the settings. So again, here's our THR 10X, our little lunchbox combo amp here of all that is holy, our Lord and Savior in this amp. Um, so just like last time, there it is, the Van Halen 90s. It's in the silver, okay? This is going to be on the Brown Sound 2 preset still. It's the exact same preset as the last time. The settings are slightly different. Again, I'm going to call that out to you now. So... Again, brown sound too. Got it. Uh, gain. Okay, you're going to be looking at it probably about uh, 2 o'clock-ish. Mess with it. Micro, you know, movements. <laughs> Here and there. Man, this thing is dusty. Master. All the way up. 11, baby. Uh, bass. Uh, it's also dimed. Uh, Eddie's tone back in the 90s was pretty, pretty bassy. But again, I mean, when you're the only guitarist... Yeah, you're not really trying to cut through the mix too much. Uh, middle, uh, you're looking at about between 2 and 3 o'clock. Again, just kind of play with it, micro hair movements here and there. Um, let's see, the treble. Treble, you're going to be looking at a little past 3 o'clock, okay? Um, now, the effect. Uh, that one is going to be around in the chorus, and I literally have it on just between the H and the O in chorus, that word. Um, I don't know if you can really uh, see it due to my camera. Oh, God, you can't see anything. Oh, maybe you can. Where is it? Uh, effect, yeah. It's that second silver marker there in the middle. That's where it's at, okay? Uh, moving on. Delay, I don't have anything on that. I only have it on the reverb on Hall. And that's literally pointing about about to the H. Just a little bit of a reverb. Oh, I lied. Nope, I can't see. It's on the second L in Hall. So I got a decent amount. So it's about halfway up, you know. Um, and then again, guitar and for the output is your choice of what level you want to play at. And again, that's why this is such a great practice amp. Um, you know, I don't even know if you can maybe play this live. I mean, PAs are so good now. They might even mic it and you sound phenomenal. I don't know. Anything's possible nowadays, right? With AI and all that, who knows? But the robots are taking over. Um, I'm just trying to think real quick off the top of my head if there's anything else that I really need to touch on from the previous video. Um, I will be playing through my Ernie Ball um, AX40 by Sterling. Uh, this guitar is great. I still have yet to do my upgrades. I'm actually about to take this pickup and put it in a build of mine. Um, and I'm going to change these pickups out. Um, and I actually did see um, some of the old school DiMarzio custom pickups that they had. And the original EVH is on for sale on Reverb. They went like 600 bucks. I couldn't tell you if that's a good price or not, but had I had the money, I probably would have bought them and put them in this sucker and just make this a souped up version of the Eddie Van Halen one. Uh, so I'm still gonna change out the Floyd and the pickups, but that's all I'm gonna change on this. But right now this guitar is completely stock. There's nothing uh, as far as electronic or magical going on here. It is what it is and that's what I played through. Um, I tried to play as many 90s uh, riffs for you as I could off the top of my head. Um, hopefully it really cut through and you guys are able to hear uh, how close it gets to the 90s tone. I wouldn't say it's exact, but it does a good enough job. I mean, it really, to, in my mind, it really nails the the uh, Van Halen 1 through like Fair Warning. I mean, tones, got it. Um, and again, the, the 90s tone is, it's, it's real fun to, to play with as well. You just gotta, 
dial it in and it, and it will sound different on different guitars. Cause I mean, again, every instrument is its own voice. Um, so it might sound different on some guitars might sound better. I really try to, you know, tune it in and, um, to, to that guitar specifically. Um, just because I feel like that one, it gets, it gets in the ballpark. I have a couple other guitars and I'm still kind of playing with it. Um, trying to get out uh, because I really love that balanced tone. I really love Foreign Lawful Carnal Knowledge. Um, again, as far as like the later versions where he had a lot more chorus on his tone. Uh, but, uh, you know, tell me in the comments what you, what you all think. You know, what was your favorite Van Halen tone? Why? You know, this and that. I mean, it, this has been a discussion for the ages amongst anybody who's anyone. Is what's the best tone and this and that. Again, it's all preference. It's whatever you like. Sometimes I'm digging something else more than the other, right? You know, that's music in general. Sometimes I like to clean list and oldies and country, and I'm going on a tangent. Holy crap, get back on track. Uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I mean, I, I hope I hope you enjoy it. Again, I hope this helps you. Um, again, this is, this is getting the tones on a budget. I want to say that this amp is going for around the two to three hundred dollar mark um they're very much still available like i said on ebay reverb uh google shopping i mean you can you can find them um if you can get it around the two hundred dollar mark i think that's a really really good deal uh to be frank um especially if you're not trying to like blow thousands of dollars on a rig and this and that and you're, you're playing at home like i play in an apartment so until i get my house next year um uh, so, I mean, I can't really play too loud um, a lot of times. But, I mean, again, who really does? Who's carrying around 100-watt heads anymore? Nobody. Nobody's gigging with the 100-watt heads, okay? Unless you're just, you know, Slash or somebody. I mean, that's really the only reason you're playing 100-watt heads. Um, but, uh, again, there's nothing against that. You know, they have attenuators and all that that can bring down the volume. And, I mean, running hot tubes still sounds phenomenal you know but i mean solid state amps are are coming along with technology and everything else i mean you with the, the kember amps and all, just everything it can sound absolutely just incredible even through just an interface into your laptop i mean i'm really anxious to see you know how music continues carry on and technology is getting more involved in making things more easy and again until you know robot robots take over the world and uh, next thing you know, it's Terminator or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, that was my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. It's not a Duma. Yep. And you all wonder why I make these videos, right? Just me and my dog. Uh, Halen's asleep, finally. So in that video previously, just real quick before I let you go, um, he did momentarily unplug my guitar, which kind of changed the preset mid mid tapping so that kind of threw me off it was kind of funny at the time but uh it was also annoying uh but he did unplug me momentarily so uh there's that uh other than that again we'll catch you next time feel free to ask questions i almost have a build coming probably here within the next week or so i'll talk about that one i still got three more builds i'm gonna try to diligently work on those uh this week now that i've Got uh, family no longer in town, and my daughter's going to go back to school, and the dog's finally somewhat like in a realm of being trained three months in. So uh, life is kind of finally starting to kind of like just come back to some form of normalcy. So it's been good. It's been great. I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this video uh, of the Yamaha THR-10X, I mean, blew up. I almost had like, again... I'm not making any money off this. I don't care how many views I get. I just enjoy doing this for you guys. But I literally had like a thousand views almost in a matter of a day. So I don't know. Are you guys, I mean, you let me know. I don't know. Uh, I've, I've got three videos in the thousand, four videos in the thousand mark or way higher. Uh, but again, I, I just want to know what you guys want to hear as well. You know, um, feel like I'm always talking about stuff that you guys maybe already know, but again, this is just open discussion. I enjoy talking about this stuff. So, uh, anyway, do whatever it is you do guys till next time. Bye-bye.